my opinion, and I've said this ever since, uh, taxation is theft, period. I mean, uh, why did we leave? We, I'm saying, why did people come to America? Why did they leave? You know, the royalties. Why did they leave the queens, kings, that kind of stuff? Why did they place foot in America to get away from taxation? It was overrun. It was, it was, that was it. Their life um, was taxation, period. That's it. So they fought that, got away from that. And once they got away from it, they had to fight it again here on the land in America where they came to. And won, obviously. But like every government, it's a slow creep, slow creep until they just get more and more and want more and more and more. And that's it. Uh, think of all the wars. I mean, this is, this is amazing. I mean, the wars are the ones while they justified taxes. Um, let's see, that was the, the taxes. It was, oh, jeepers, I'm trying to think. Sorry, I think the 18, no, it was 1790s, the war with France. Um, that led to property tax. So the war with France led to property tax being started. All right, that was property tax. And then the implementation just, I mean, that's not just property tax like we know it nowadays. That was just tax on property that people had, not land or homes or that kind of stuff. It's just a tax on property, period. Um, and uh, so that, that happened. Then the implementation of this tax was, I mean, it, it, was, it was not good at all, just like all taxes are. Um, so then there was a later war fought, this was 1790s, 1812, the War of 1812. Then that is what funded another tax to be implemented. Um, that was tax, duties, excise tax, that kind of stuff. So because they're going to war again, they need to implement taxes. Well, those taxes never go away. I mean, never is a strong word, but barely, barely ever go away. Once it's there, it's there, and that usually creeps and gets larger. Um, so that was that, and that was 1812, and then, then it would take the Civil War. So you had to have a country fight against itself to implement a, a larger tax pull, a larger tax taking, um, thievery, whatever. And that's when the um, income tax was implemented in the United States. The income tax was implemented, I mean, after, during, thought of, then, but after that, that was after the deal. That's when things started rolling to get the income tax going. Um, but direct taxation, it's, it's not legal. I mean, that, look at the Constitution. It was illegal you would not be able to do it. Then they say, yeah, look at the 16th Amendment. What I say, so what? Um, it's not, that's not, that's, that's a whole other uh, deal, another argument. Um, but so the American Civil War, it was so disastrous, expensive for the nation. Um, massive amounts of debt were occurred, incurred, uh, waging war against itself. And like I said, it's, you know, one side against the other side, one, you know, north against the south, whatever you want to call it, was there. And then from that, they needed, they needed to justify somehow. This taxation, is my opinion, was the main reason of it. Um, so it was levied on taxes exceeding over $800. So it was temporarily. That's how it sold, you know. Um, and it was not, then it was rescinded in 1972, I believe, because it was, put in, in 1961, then they pulled out, stopped in 1972, and then from there, I think, is what got government thinking, well, this worked. We can do this. This is a real deal. Sort of similar to what happened in 2019, 2020, till 2022, that we're in right now, soon to be 2023, and they're like, well, Look at, look at how successful we were. People stepped in line. This worked, we can do this. So now they just gotta go harder, accelerate, you know, faster. 
they got to push more. You know, now that's that's now, and that's what they did then. Um, so then, the modern, that's when the modern tax system was was basically created and understood. And they're like, all right, we're doing this. We can do this. Um, so the, the IRS it was founded, and um, the tax was progressive, and some deductions were allowed. That's how it all started. Wars, higher taxes. Wars, more taxes. Wars, more fees. Wars, more fines. Wars, more this. So every time there's a war, whether it, your country's involved in it or not, I mean, on the television or they tell you you're involved or not, you're involved no matter what the war is, uh, nine times out of ten, um, and you're going to suffer by paying more taxes because the people who think they're in charge say, well, we're, we're gonna, we need this, we need this, we need to manufacture that, we need to do this, we need to do that, we need to you know, steal this land, we need to steal this country, we need to steal this, we need to steal that. And because of that, that cost, we have to pay these people, we have to pay for this stuff, we have to do. So we're government, we're useless, we make no money, we can't, you know, we can't get by and allow ourselves to live, we can't fend for ourselves, so we gotta go and steal from the people, from the cattle, from the tax cattle, the tax cat heads. We gotta go steal from the citizens, and that's all it is. They decide what they're gonna do that's in your best interest and for your safety, as always, of course. And then they're gonna steal to justify and get by and do what they wanna do. So that got me thinking, I'm looking at this stuff a little more, I'm always looking at this, but I don't remember one politician, hearing one politician talk about ending income tax, property taxes, property taxes is huge, or any other real hardcore tax, all taxes are theft, any other real hardcore taxes. Maybe it's just a little nuisance tax here or a little nuisance tax there or whatever, yeah, and some politician might stand up for that. It doesn't happen very often, but if it does, and they get that rescinded or they get that pulled or whatever, they, they, they want props. They think they're the biggest hero ever because they were able to stop a tax. Whether it was, whether it was a fraction of a fraction of a fraction for something that you do every 10 years, yeah, that's it. That's nothing. But I have not heard really any politician talk about ending property taxes. I mean, there was Harry Brown who talked about a little bit of stuff. You had, um, you know, the Ron Paul saying some stuff here and there, and, and yeah, it supported those those thoughts. And um, so, when the property taxes began, I mean, I, I said that, but really, I think property taxes how we know it. I believe the first state that implemented a property tax on land and a, a functional property tax, a per acre tax, was Illinois and I think that was 1818. And from there, it just gets more and more hideous. Um, so you gotta think about this. You got income taxes, you got sales taxes, you've got property taxes, you've got all these other taxes. I'm gonna go through a little list here, which is I mean, just this is just ridiculous. Um, but uh, and and then now, I mean, not now, but and then think about permission. You're paying for permission. It's like I gotta go get a permit to add on to my house. I gotta go get a permit to build a shed. I have to go get a permit to. I have to go get a permit to. I have to go get a permit to. A permit is paying for permission to do something with things that you already own. You already paid for. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's tax. That's all it is, is a tax. Because you get nothing from it. You get no benefit from it. You know, at all. You may, if you go get one, you may not have to pay a fine or a late charge or some sort of fee if you didn't go get one and you get caught. But you don't get a benefit from it at all. Zero. Silch. Um, so I, I'm going to go over this. So... Think about the war in Ukraine. That's what's happening right now. You know, 
It's just one of the latest. But, and how much, how many billions have been pumped over there from America? All right? And uh, so they got, they have 40 billion to Ukraine for assistance plus. 40 billion to Ukraine for assistance plus. That was, they, they flushed that over there willy nilly. No big deal. Well, they complain here and they hire all these IRS agents, 87,000 more IRS agents, um, to, to mess with the farmers, to mess with the small business people, to mess with the, the middle class folks. And then they complain about, we don't have enough money, we can't afford this, we can't afford that. But we did have $40 billion plus to go over to Ukraine for assistance. Well, what kind of assistance? Doesn't matter, you don't need to know. What did it go for? It doesn't matter. You don't need to know. That's how that was played. So I want to go through the United States Security Assistance Committed. The United States Security Assistance Committed to Ukraine. And this is a list directly from the gov. Is um, This is just a, a small sample. Over 1,400 Stinger anti-aircraft systems. Over 65. These are just, this has nothing to do with the $40 billion that we sent them. This is on top of that. So over 6,500 Javelin anti-armor systems, over 20,000 other anti-armor systems, over 700 switchblade tactical unmanned aerial systems. Um, we got 108, 155mm howitzers and over 22,200, okay, 220,000 um, artillery rounds. We have 90 tactical, tactical vehicles to tow. We have 15 tactical vehicles to recover equipment. 18 high volume mobility artillery rocket systems and ammunition. Uh, 30 MI-17 helicopters, hundreds of armored high mobility multipurpose vehicles. 200 M-113 armored personnel carriers. Over 7,000 arm, small arms. Over 50,000 no, oh, wait, 50 million rounds of small arms of ammunition, 75,000 sets of body armor and helmets, 121 Phoenix GOATS tactical unmanned aerial systems. We have laser-guided rocket systems, uh, Puma unmanned aerial systems. We have unmanned coastal defense vessels, uh, 22 counter artillery via, uh, ra radars. We have four counter motor radars. We have uh, four air surfer service radars, and we're sort of getting tongue twisted here. We have M M18 AI A1 Claymore anti-personnel munitions. We have C4 explosives and demolition equipment for obstacle clearing, tactical and secure communication systems, night vision uh, devices, terminal terminal imagery systems, optics optics and laser range finders. We have commercial satellite imagery services. We have uh, explosive ordnance disposal uh, protective gear. We have uh, chemical, bio biological, radiological, nuclear protective equipment. We have medical supplies um, to include first aid kits, electronic jamming equipment, field equipment, and spare parts. That's just a small list of what we have provided to them on top of the 40, 40 billion dollars to Ukraine for this war, if you want to call it war, um, and and this is just for what? For what? What did you get? What did your family get? What did your friends get? What did you know your cousins get? What did I mean? What you get? You got nothing. I'm not saying don't go help people, but this whole Ukraine thing, in my opinion, is not help. It's it has nothing to do with that. It's a whole nother psyop in itself. But anyways, I just want to go over this. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, and I would like to do a deep dive on some of these things later, but I, I just want to broad brush this stuff with this, this uh, digital money that they're, they're pushing with all this other stuff, all these taxes, these IRS agents, 81,000 of them there, and complaining about all this stuff, and we just, $40 billion to Ukraine, along with all those munitions, that I just listed, try to get through with my tongue-tied stuff there. Um, 
It's ridiculous. And what really matters is yourself, your friends, and your family. That's what really matters. You don't care. I mean, really, on a whole, you do. But really, what do you need for yourself and your family's survival um, to better your lives? That's what really matters in your community. That's it. But that's not talked about because that's not what they care about. Um, anyways, I, I'll digress on that. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. As always, uh, protect yourself, your family, your health, and protect your wealth.